Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. We have lost hundreds and thousands of innocent people to gun violence. Tiny little children, babies, students, and teachers, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, daughters and sons, friends and neighbor. And what has this body done? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Race to 100. I am Rick Thorsell. And I'm Neil Latang. Thank you for tuning in. And we are on episode number 49. Episode number 49. So close. So close to halfway. Man, this has been flying by. We wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Yeah, no, and I mean, we'll give a, we'll give a shout out to those who have been uh, actively engaged with our channel for episode 50. It's been super exciting with everything that we've done so far. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited with all the stuff that we talked about, and tonight we are kind of breaking news along with a lot of other news sources right now that are reporting on this, but there is a historic sit-in in the U.S. House of Representatives where uh, John Lewis, who is this civil rights activist who is also this, uh, you know, U.S. House of Represent Representatives member, uh, he is a legendary figure. So an activist, a civil rights activist turned politician. Congressman to be exact, correct? Precisely, yeah. Okay. And he has decided that enough is enough when it comes to gun violence, which is something that we have been talking about sort of over and over. Yeah. We, we, you know, we've touched on this for like the, you yeah. know, two or three different episodes. Mm -hmm. And right now, they are doing this thing in the United States House of Representatives where uh, they are just sitting down and saying we are not going to budge until the House votes on a bill to regulate gun control. A political sit-in. It is. Call it that. Correct. My friend, my brother for yielding, now is the time for us to find a way to dramatize it, to make it real. We have to occupy the floor of the House until there's action. Rise up, Democrats. Rise up, Americans. This cannot stand. We will occupy this floor. We will no longer be denied a right to vote. The Democrats have had enough. You know, they're telling those to the right that we've got to do something about this crazy gun violence that's happening in this country and we can't rest until reform happens immediately. I never thought we'd ever witness something like this in our country. I always thought the whole issues on gun violence rigs would just kind of be swept under the rug. You know? It really is tough though because, like, you know, when it comes down to it, the, like, like we said in the, the previous episode of the, the NRA and Wayne LaPierre, which you can view above, which, you know, Neil had a, a great time with. Yeah, yeah, I had a great time watching this guy go at it with, with the camera and Wayne LaPierre, but <laughs> please continue. Uh, you know, I, it is so difficult to try and be, you know, to try and get something done when it comes to Congress and gun reform. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there are those in... Congress right now, those in the House of Representatives who are willing to stand up and, or sit down in this case, and and, and make their case in the in the same way that the civil rights movement was initiated is 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 something that's you know that's crazy. I think it's pretty cool that a political activist, a civil rights activist, turned congressman who was achieved remarkable things over the last 40 or so years has still has the courage to 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 lead his people and supporters into something um, they believe in I mean it's just crazy because we can never picture something like this happening I I can't you know when I think of people protesting I you know you always think of it as as, as, as poor folk you know college students people who like revolutionary revolutionary people who don't have the means to to sit back and watch things from afar but it's pretty tight to see a politician leading a sit-in um 
I kind of wish I was there to, to witness this. What do you think is going to happen from this? You know, you, you can make a prediction now and it, then. It's tough to say. So as we're, as we're speaking right now, uh, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, who is this uh, re Republican, you know, Speaker of the House, yeah. is... For those, who, for those who don't know, he was uh, supposed to be, he was the vice presidential candidate with Mitt Romney in 2012. Yes, pre yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's very good. I only know that because Paul Paul Ryan is, 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 is a big meathead, and, and I like to work out, and so does oh, he. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so, he is like the, the I CrossFit. Mean, I, was, I, was, I wasn't down with their, their political concepts, but I did follow his fitness program. He, he's, got, he's, got quite a, he's got quite a fitness program. So he's, he's more or less going on with Senate business as usual. We sit down. Gentlemen's time has expired. Pursuant to clause so we can 12 stand per a of, of rule one, Chair declares the House recess for the hour of 12 noon. And that was from about a half an hour ago. The cameras were shut off by the House studios. C-SPAN does not control the cameras in this, the House or the Senate. When you first told me about this, let me tell you, I had a little bit of familiarity with John Lewis. I knew he was a, uh, a civil rights activist turned congressman, but I never could believe that a politician would lead a sit-in um, regarding gun control. It's just, it's great to show that, it's great to see that our politicians are passionate about this topic as much as we are. Well, I think, I think that this is unusual in the sense that there, there is this escalating conversation about gun control when it comes to how we respond to it and you have the the senate responding in a way that's like okay we're we're going to propose these things we, we talked about how chris murphy was sitting you know standing up there for 15 hours trying to advocate for all these positions mm -hmm. of you know moderate gun control like simple things like background checks for terrorists like yeah. you know can we do something as simple as that and the Republicans were like, no, 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 like, that's too much, it's infringing on rights, all that. And the same thing goes on in the House of Representatives. And, and to, to an extended degree, it's more polarized. There, there are more divisions when it comes to the U.S. House of Rep Representatives because it's much more localized. Mm -hmm. So you have people who are very, like, conservative, you have people who are very liberal, and they end up coming head-to-head. -head. So you have, like, John Lewis coming head-to-head uh, -head with... Uh, Chris Murphy? No, no. With, um, like, you know, I mean, even even Paul Ryan okay. comes yeah. from, a, from a, a conservative district okay. where you have to meet certain criteria in order to be able to uh, do what you want to do and not get thrown out of office. Like, it's, it's easier to get thrown out of office as a House of Representative than it is a senator. So I think what Rick's is saying, guys, is if any of you guys are looking for a campaign manager, any politicians watching, feel free to leave a comment below. This is your guy here to my left. He, he's the man for the job. But, yeah, we're part of history, man. You know, the, it is exciting. Uh, you know, I, I think that what is going on right now is something that hopefully the country is able to take note of, you know. It, it is it is historic it is memorable it is uh, it is a statement as to the state of our gun you know uh, the the our gun regulations as it stands as a country yeah, right now absolutely and uh, yeah again we love being a part of history we love doing the show with you guys and having you be a part of it as well. So feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Make sure you check out more of our episodes uh, to race to 100. None of this would be possible without you guys. Ricks, that's all I've got. Anything else you want to add? We will catch you next time on the race to 100. Peace. Newtown. Aurora, Charleston, Orlando. What is the tipping point? Are we blind? Can we see?
How many more mothers, how many more fathers need to shed tears of grief? Before we do something, we were elected to lead, Mr. Speaker. We must be headlights and not tail lights. We cannot continue to stick our heads in the sand and ignore the reality of mass gun violence in our nation. Deadly mass shootings are becoming more and more frequent. Mr. Speaker, this is a fight. It is not an opinion. We must remove the blinders. The time for silence and patience is long gone. We are calling on the leadership of the House to bring common sense gun control legislation to the House floor. Right. Give us a vote. Right. Let us vote. We came here to do our job. We came here to work. The American people demand an action. Do we have the courage? Do we have raw courage to make at least a down payment on ending gun violence in America? We can no longer wait. We can no longer be patient. So today we come to the well of the house to dramatize the need for action. Not next month, not next year, but now, today.